Good morning, Sir Will. Welcome to your day one selfie show. Yes, where we are video selfieing, if that's a word, your news to you. I'm Liam, and this is Vanessa, and let's get right into the news. There is a casting call for those who want to be acting with the Film and Television Club. Come on down to the broadcasting room after school if you're interested. Are you interested in learning about benefits of international education, Sorrel? If so, OCENET will be hosting its second annual International Education Information Fair on Saturday, April 25th. The Hall of International Opportunities will provide a variety of booths for educators, students, and parents to visit. There is also a wide variety of thematic presentations and workshops that are available over the course of the day. To avoid disappointment, please register as space is limited. Doors open at 9.30 a.m. and workshops begin at 10. You can register online at ocenet.ca. Volunteers are needed for the Ottawa Music Expo event, which takes place July 4th to 16th. There are tons of volunteer opportunities available, including pre-festival help, ushers, box office, stage crew, and setup, as well as teardown. If you are interested, please contact Music at and Beyond at volunteer at musicandbeyond.ca or check out the volunteer binder for more information. Attention all Sirwell Freeriders! Our first ski day is this Friday. Get your equipment ready and do not forget your helmet. The bus is more than 80% full and there are only nine seats left, so hand in your permission forms if you still have them. Pass the word and see you on the bus this Friday. In other sporting news, there will be a senior boys rugby meeting today at lunch in Portable One. All senior boys interested in playing rugby this year should attend. There are also Babington tryouts this week. Seniors meet at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and juniors are going to meet at 7 a.m. Thursday morning in the gym. Last bit of sporting news here is that there is a possibility of Sir Will having a swim club from the end of this month to the end of May. Each member would be asked to pay $30 to cover costs of lifeguard and to participate. The club can only run if they get enough members, with a maximum of 25. If you are interested, please see Ms. Brown in the art room to get a form. Well, I just might join them. Why is that? Because in the summer you can stay like nice and cool, and in the winter you're inside. Don't like the cold, huh? Well, maybe it isn't so bad. Let's give your arm a break and check out the weather with Charlie. So, good morning, Sir Will. This morning it's very cold out, starting off at negative 23 degrees, but it feels like negative 30 with the wind chill. It will be heating up a little, oh, all right, a little bit later in the afternoon to negative 19, but tomorrow will be pretty mild, starting off to negative 9 throughout the day. The photo this day was sent in by uh, no one, but that's okay. You can send in your pics at Lori live on Twitter. We'll be featured here next. Back to the desk. See you guys later. Thanks, Charlie, but we still have more news to get to. A quick reminder that any first semester students in Ms. Brown's art classes are asked to pick up their portfolios and any other artwork left in the room. You have until the end of this month to collect your masterpieces. To those of you returning to Sir Will next year, remember that your option sheets are due Monday, March 2nd to your period three teachers. Students who are on spare can hand them in to guidance. One last reminder that tomorrow is Toonie Tuesday. Please bring in, um, hmm, our teleprompter is awesome. Uh, please bring in your Toonies to help support the Education Foundation of Ottawa. 100% of the funds will be going to students in crisis to support their emergency needs for food, clothing, or medical help. The donation box will be in the main office tomorrow, so don't forget to bring in your Toonies, Sir Will. Well, that is all the news we have for you today, Sir Will. Have a super mega foxy awesome hot day, and Sir Will, say cheese.